Panic at the Disco. What a weird band name, right? Well, this particular band has made some interesting musical and stylistic choices in their past three albums. But first, let's take a look at Panic at the Disco's early beginnings. Way back in the classical year of 2004, in Las Vegas, Nevada, singer and guitarist Ryan Ross, along with drummer Spencer Smith, started playing music together. Not long after, they invited Brent Wilson to play bass. Wilson then invited Brendan Urey to play guitar with them as well. The four quickly became a band by the name Panic at the Disco. The four quickly developed a sound that was much different than the death metal music scene in Las Vegas at that time. During this time, Wilson left the band and was replaced by John Walker. On September 22, 2005, the band's first album, A Fever You Can't Sweat Out, was released. One of the band's most popular songs, I Write Sins Not Tragedies, did a full-on sprint on the Billboard Hot 100 and even won Video of the Year at the 2006 VMAs. I chime in with the haven't you people ever heard of Closing a damn door, no It's much better to face these kinds of things With a sense of voice and rationality In 2007, Panic then went on to develop a new album and they reportedly scrapped the entire thing. The band went on to write and develop their somewhat controversial album, Pretty Odd. The album did well upon release and was called Optimistically Beautiful because of its similar sound to the Beatles and other bands of the 60s and 70s. Their tour for Pretty Odd was wildly different from their first tour because it was more flowery and did not feature a dark circus theme. In the spring of 2009, the four bandmates started recording their third studio album, but there was an issue. The four bandmates soon became two when Ryan Ross and John Walker left the band to pursue their own thing and style they preferred. In early 2010, the band went back to the studio for the third album, Vices and Virtues. Their single, The Ballad of Mona Lisa, released in February 2011 to positive reviews. The Ballad of Mona Lisa was from the third album, Vices and Virtues, released on March 22, 2011, to relatively positive reviews from fans and critics alike. The fourth studio album, Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die, was announced in early 2013, but also came with the news of Spencer Smith leaving the band because of alcohol and prescription drug addiction. Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die released on October 8, 2013 at number 2 on the Billboard 200 and received overall positive reviews. The first track on the album, This is Gospel, and its music video became quite popular and was often used in internet memes. During the recording of the fifth studio album, Brandon Urey was the only person left from the original four-man lineup. Dallin Weekies, who was among the first lineup changes, was also still in the band. Panic at the Disco was down to a two-piece, with Urey being the only one contributing creatively. The fifth album, Death of a Bachelor, released on January 15, 2016, containing a few of their popular previously released singles like Victorious, Emperor's New Clothes, and Don't Threaten Me With A Good Time. Panic also released a well-received cover of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody on the Suicide Squad album. After the death of the Bachelor tour, Wikis also left the band, leaving Yuri to be the only remaining main musician besides the touring members. During late 2017, Yuri hinted at recording a new Panic at the Disco album. On March 21st, 2018, Yuri suddenly announced the new album Pray for the Wicked, along with releasing two new songs. A music video for one of the songs, Say I'm Men, Saturday Night, was a piece in an interesting puzzle of story-based music videos. Let's dive a bit deeper into the band's intriguing video-based story. This is a gospel from Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die was the first of these music videos, detailing Yuri's seeming death on an operating table, watery grave, and eventually running into a bright white light. Emperor's New Clothes from Death of a Bachelor was the second music video to be released in the series. It served as a sequel to This is Gospel and the video actually starts with the end of This Is Gospel. Brennan Yuri seems to fall into hell or a purgatory type setting after dying. Slowly, over the course of the song, he turns into a demon devil type thing. At the end of the video, he sees a bright light, smiles, and it cuts to black. The Say Amen Saturday Night music video released and fans had a fun addition to their previous connecting music videos. It begins with Yuri having a devil's key that was reported stolen on the news. He fights off burglars in his house, only for his date to show up at the door, 
After some kissing, she ends up killing him and stealing the key. At the very end of the video, the beginning of the heartbeats from This Is Gospel can be heard. These connections create a three-part video series spanning three albums, starting with Yuri having stolen a devil's key, being killed for it, and then turning into a demon devil type monster. It's an intriguing choice and is something many bands don't do with their music videos. It allows for interesting fan speculation and is overall a really creative endeavor that I and many other Panka Disco fans thoroughly enjoy.